What's new in Mobile Pro app version 3? In short, new look and feel, lots of different aspects to that, and social sharing and content syndication. So let's go and have a quick look. Uh, let's bring up the cockpit, and here's my phone. So first thing we'll notice when we look on the phone is that we have new navigation on the phone. Uh, top left, we have a new slide out. Uh, that shows us our three most recently used clubs. The My Club section lets us also go and select from any of the clubs uh, that we have available. We also have an account section, so if you're logged in, that will show, and that gives the app user the option to log out of the booking service. There's push settings there, and also legal information. The legal information is an opportunity uh, for you to get your information, your own terms and conditions added to the app. So you'll see here, publisher imprint, that section is actually brought down from the cockpit. If we go and look at the club section of the uh, cockpit, this is my particular club, you'll see there's a tab here called legal info, Anything we put in here will come down and appear in the app in the publisher imprint section. While we're here in the uh, club section, we also have new in version 3, the option to set a color scheme. That's under the appearance tab. So we can go, for example, and select a uh, blue color scheme. Uh, maybe we would have a deep orange uh, highlight. We can just save that up. And now if I go back to the app and I click and drag down, you'll see that the uh, color scheme changes to that blue. Okay. Uh, one other thing which I'm not planning to show you is that the login to the app persists across clubs. In version 2, you had to log in for each new club you uh, switch to, but in version 3, one login is used across all clubs. The next thing I want to show you is the schedule module, which has had a, a, a refresh, it's been updated. You'll see it picks up the color scheme there. Uh, as with version 2, it's a seven-day rotating schedule. Um, it's got a redesigned detail view there. The images uh, zoom quite nicely there on uh, iOS and uh, different pictures, different sections. And I can add that to the calendar very simply. So update the schedule module there. Uh, next thing is there's an updated look and feel to Android. I can't show you that at the moment because I've only got my iPhone available at the moment. Uh, but we also have uh, added in both cases a, uh, a new feature to bypass uh, the list view in single articles. So let's go and have a look at an info module. This is only applies to info modules. Here I've got a gallery uh, info module. It's only got a single article facilities. And in version two, if I clicked on gallery, it would go to the list view first and then into the facilities article itself. But on version three, if I go and click on gallery, it takes me straight into the article. I don't go through that list view. So this is rather nice. Uh, it means we can go straight in to uh, single article uh, information and I can then pick up all the information. This happens to be uh, image, uh, uh, an image gallery. So that's quite a nice new feature in version three. Um, next, we want to talk about uh, news, uh, other changes to the news information. So I've got an about us uh, module here. If I come back to the cockpit and click on the, uh, the main square there, you see I've got a whole load of uh, articles to do with about us in the information section. And we've also got a load of articles in uh, the news section as well. So let's go and look at those on the app. So if I click on the uh, articles here, I've now got new views uh, in the uh, article images. I can cycle between those views. So the list view is fairly similar to what we had in version two, but there's also a grid view, a card view, and what we call card view with uh, inlay, I think it's called. Okay. And so if you've got some nice images, these really are uh, excellent new views. How are these controlled in the cockpit? If we go and look at the settings for the particular module, um, you'll see there's a tab called Layout Options, and you can turn on or off any of the views you like. So <clears throat> in the cockpit, use the gym, can actually preset these. So it could be that you want to uh, disable the list view, disable the grid view. We can save that up. Now, uh, if we go back and refresh the app, and now when the user goes in to look at the about us information, once that's just refreshed, um, then we'll see that actually only the card views are available the list view and the grid view aren't available. So that allows uh, either a use the gym to set these or the user to set them as well. I'm just going to set that back the way it was. Uh, so let's go and turn those back on again, save that up, back to the app and just refresh. Now, we've also actually changed the way the, uh, the layout uh, works. So that feature image now uh, sits at the top of the screen there. Uh, you'll see it on iOS, there's quite a nice zooming feature there. Uh, all the other images are the same as usual, but the feature image, uh, we do special things with in version three. Um, we've got some uh, a nice welcome uh, section here. Again, the swimming pool is a feature image and uh, goes up at the top. 
So um, if you haven't set an image, a feature image in an article, uh, that effect won't happen. So I would encourage you to go and look at uh, selecting feature images. One thing to watch out for, feature images in uh, version 2 tended to be square. So if we look at the group cycle here, the guy on the bike, um, we've got a nice square image there and he's nicely centered in that. When we actually go into the article itself on the feature image, uh, because it's a square image, he's actually uh, chopped off. On iOS, you can actually pull down to see the rest of him, but not on Android. And so you may want to think about, uh, for v V3, moving images from square to rectangular aspect ratio. That's uh, something to mention. The other thing to watch out for is if you uh, don't have images set for your feature images, down the bottom there, we've got two articles on rig and kettlebells. Um, they never look very great in uh, version 2, and they don't look any better in version 3. So I would encourage you to set images uh, for your articles. It's nice to get some high resolution image there and really reflects nicely on your facility. So uh, if you take the time and trouble to uh, put some info and news modules together, here's one which is quite comprehensive showing off the gym. What we want to do is to encourage our members to share that. And so at the top right there, you'll see we have the share uh, icon. Now in version three, we're fully embracing social media. So when we click on that, uh, we get asked what social media we'd like to use to share this. So I'm gonna share this, whoops, let me just try that again. I'm gonna share this on Facebook. And so I'm gonna tell my mates, I'm gonna say, hey, I just joined here. Hey, I just joined. There we go. And I'm going to go and post that on Facebook. Okay, so that's posted. Now we're going to go and have a look at my Facebook. Always a little uh, nerve wracking to do that in public, but let's try that. So Facebook, uh, there we are. And let's go and see if we can find that article. Uh, there's my friend Anne telling me something. Uh, but here's my post now. Hey, I just joined, so this is what I just posted. And if one of my friends comes along and clicks on this, they will actually get that full article reflected through. And in fact, if I make this a little bit narrower, you can see that they've got the exact article. So I'm gonna scroll on the phone and scroll on, if I can do this with two hands, scroll on the screen at the same time. You'll see that on Facebook, my friends get exactly all that information that uh, normally was appearing in the app, including all the buttons and links. So this is a very powerful feature because this means that if you write interesting articles, your members will share them and they'll share them with their friends who may not be members and will encourage them to be interested and look at your gym. Okay, so if I just go and show you a slide as to what we're talking about here, this is what we call social sharing or social marketing, immensely powerful. You publish interesting articles, some of your members will share that, that gets out into their social graph and your marketing material can get in front of lots and lots of people in your local area who are uh, friends of your members. Very powerful, it's like your members become an extension of your marketing team. In that same vein, in version 3, we've also added the ability uh, to actually pull content from news and information articles uh, into your website. So if we go back to the cockpit, of course, all the information for this news and information article is in, the, is in the cockpit, but we can provide an API call. And with that API call, uh, when you call this, you will actually get uh, JSON, this is like web content, uh, which describes that article. And so this is the, uh, the technical plum plumbing, if you like, on the internet. And your web programmers or your web agency uh, can take this JSON information and turn it very easily into HTML. And in fact, I've done this on a little website I have, uh, which uses WordPress. So using a WordPress plugin, you can convert that JSON uh, back into HTML. And now if I put the phone back up again, we can again uh, compare this. So there's the phone. Uh, let's uh, just minimize this back a little bit and take one step back. So here's my about us section on the phone on the right. And here it is on uh, what could be your website. And you'll see again, all uh, the information is there. And so with a simple API call, so a simple bit of uh, programming, uh, your website can contain all of the content from uh, the mobile plug cockpit and all the information that we saw earlier is there uh, on your website, uh, including that nice welcome uh, that we had earlier, that nice welcome section. Again, all the information comes through to your website. So that's very powerful. Also, let me just show you a quick slide on that. So we call this content syndication. So the content out of the news and info section of the app uh, can go to your website, obviously to mobile pro, to kiosks if they're web connected or in gym displays. So a very powerful new feature. Uh, talk to us if you'd like to take advantage of that and we can get you set up with the API. 
So lots of other things in version 3 to do with infrastructure changes, and these will be reflected in new features coming down the pipe. Uh, the next up is local marketing with iBeacons, which we've talked about a little bit uh, in the past. That's coming uh, soon, all enabled by the plumbing in version 3. So in summary, uh, what should you be thinking about doing uh, in preparation for version 3? First of all, the app color scheme. You may want to match your brand colors onto the app, so start thinking about that. Those can be custom colors. Uh, please talk to your class and representative. We can get that set up. Uh, please re review your news and information modules. You may want to add some pictures and, and um, reset the feature images. Uh, you may want to add some more information modules. Uh, in fact, replacing web modules with info modules is also always a good idea. The info modules are faster and they're more shareable. Uh, and when you write your articles in, in uh, both news and information modules, you may want to encourage your users to share. Obviously, the more they share, the better for you. And then finally, the content syndication, very powerful, allows you to keep the news and info up to date in Mobile Pro, and it uh, appears in sync on your website and around your center. So that's V3. We hope you like it. Uh, and that's it from us for now.